When they get the opportunity, Michel Jr. enjoys nothing more than spending time in the kitchen with his daughter. At Le Gavroche, they are preparing a salmon tartare with poached gull's egg and caviar. So, we need beautiful salmon, the gull eggs, and Emily? I'm going to poach them. I want them poached. You've never poached a gull egg before, have you? No. What kind of eggs have you poached? Duck and chicken. Well, it's the same thing. Yes. So, go for it. I'm off. So, how are you poaching them? Just vinegar in the water. Well done. Well done. That's it. So, Emily uh, is learning to be a chef. In fact, she's, she's had a little bit of practice at home, haven't you? I think, I think so, yeah. We could say that. <laughs> so, what I'm doing is I'm just taking the salmon. This is organic salmon and cutting it up. I like my tata quite chunky. I like texture in tata. I don't like it when it's chopped to a pulp. I think food is not just about flavours, it's also about textures. Would you agree, Emily? Yes. And the visual aspect at the end. Visually? Yes, you're right, because we eat food, first of all, with our eyes. Now, do you like tartare spicy, Emily? Yes. How spicy? Spicy. Spicy with pepper, chilli? Chilli. Chilli. See, I'm not going to put chilli in mine, I'm going to put some horseradish. So my my tartare is more French classical. How's my egg doing? It's fine. What's the secret to a good poached egg then? I'm testing you here, you see. Mm. Thank you, Daddy. Into ice water. So it stops the, the cooking process. So you are learning something. <laughs> <laughs> uh. And you're draining it to remove all the water. Why did you put vinegar in the water then, Emily? Um, to keep the colour nice and white, and uh, I think it's to keep the texture, the texture of the egg as well. No? That's right. The vinegar helps the egg white to coagulate, and uh, then you can get a really nice shape on the egg. Again, it's all about presentation. So I'm using spring onion in my tartare. Right. So I've got my salmon. How's that? Wow, that's perfect. Well done. Thank you. And you only used one. Yes. And it's nice and runny. Yes. Not hard? No. Super. Bit of grated horseradish. Now this is going to give us a real kick, but not a chilli kick. I want a little bit of cream in here. Dash of cream. Dash, not just a drop. More than that? A little bit more. This is double cream. Yep, that's lovely. Want to open the tin of caviar for me? And that's French caviar, farm caviar. See, you've opened a few of those tins before. <laughs> and then a squeeze of lime juice in there. I want to put the um, ice. crushed ice in our cocktail glass. So, now, this is a little bit of lemon puree. It's uh, lemons that I've boiled ten times and then pureed with a little bit of stock syrup, just to give it sharpness and it's a bit of a surprise when you get to the bottom of the cocktail glass when you're digging in. So then the tartare, now I think it's important, a tartare should be loose and it shouldn't be packed in here so just shaking it in very gently. As a family, the Rue family, we've all got our own ideas. I think that's fair to say. Yes, and you're pretty headstrong aren't you? Yes. I'm sure that you're looking at this and saying to yourself, I wouldn't do it this way. I am. <laughs> I am. Keep that thought. So, poached egg on top. Ooh. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I think it could have been cooked for another 30 seconds more. No. No? We've got a couple of toast. Little Melba toast works really well with caviar. And of course, a generous, generous dollop of caviar on top. And I'm going to be even more silly and more generous. <laughs> and you know what this is? Gold leaf. Pure edible gold leaf. And it's very expensive, but I think you're worth it. Now, I think that looks rather nice. 
You first. Are you going to break the egg? Wow. That looks lovely. That's beautifully cooked. Well done. It's nice. <laughs> nice! I don't know if I like nice. Mm. I love that. I think that's gorgeous. Is it to your taste, though? It's missing a bit of kick and punch. So what's it missing? A bit of chilli. Chilli? Mm. Chilli and? Maybe a bit of oil as well, too. Well, that's what the, the yolk's for and the cream's for. Mm. I don't like cream. You don't like cream? Mm -hmm. Would you prefer an Asian-style tap mm. Yeah. And it's not cut very well, either, the salmon. Oh! I can't believe I'm taking this from you. <laughs> You see how we are in the family, the roof that we can... We all know how we want things done. We're all aiming for perfection. But en route to that perfection, we have our own way of doing it. Mm. I think that horseradish is really good, though. It really gives it a good cake. Not enough for you, though. No. Oh, well. Next time. Next time, Dad, you can do better.